What makes for a good biblical sermon is that the Bible is front and center, both in a nominal sense, but also in a deeper um, proclamative sense, if that's a word. In, an, uh, in a nominal sense, there, uh, you could have a sermon that talks repeatedly about a text and refers to it, but isn't faithful to it, and the text is simply uh, an excuse uh, for, for the preacher to attach her or his um, political views, psychological views, um, religious views, uh, or just to tell stories about him or herself. But that nominal sense is important. If it isn't obvious to people that a pastor is preaching on a text, then even if that deeper sense that, that the pastor is proclaiming the word that's faithful to that passage, that will, that'll be lost. So there has to be that nominal, um, that, that, that surface level element of preaching. Some people get that point across by carrying the Bible and holding it up or picking it up from time to time in a sermon if they're not walking around. Others get it by referring uh, repeatedly to a passage uh, that they're preaching on while they're preaching on, on it. There's different ways to do it. I think that uh, one nice habit is uh, of a pastor is immediately before starting the sermon, read a key line or two of the text that one is preaching on. So, so if you're preaching on the first lesson, but then you've had a psalm and a second lesson and a children's sermon and a gospel lesson and maybe a hymn uh, and then a sermon, just to remind the sermon by saying, you know, remind the congregation by reading a snippet from whatever lesson you're going to base the sermon on. At the deeper sense, though, what's critical is that the, that the sermon not be the pastor's opinion or the pastor's views, but it be the text that is the basis for the sermon and that the pastor wrestle with the text and that the text is the primary uh, voice rather than the pastor's voice. So that after, at the end you can say, uh, as you've listened to a sermon, yeah, that was, that was Romans 5 today instead of that was Rolf Jacobson.